Well, actually, what in about the last 48 hours, man, Chicago has been a, a, a like a war zone. Um, the last week. Yeah, in the last yeah, in the last week. And, I mean, you could really say in the last month, it all started with um the the, the death of uh rising rapper uh Bloodhound Love Jeff. You know, he died on the drill, so we're not gonna say the tragic death or nothing like that. We're gonna keep it solid, keep it real. But buddy was out here doing what he do, and it just so happened that it ain't work out. Um, and he passed. Um, and then within this last week, it's been some dudes from over east. It's been some over east shit going on. They ain't even gonna dig into that. But uh, over east done took some losses. Um, and then you had um yesterday, just yesterday, the dude THF twin, who a lot of people got love for twin in Chicago. Yeah, um, he was wrong. Tra- yeah, tragically he passed. Ten you not ten minutes later, huh? You know how he passed? Nah, tell me, bro. Go ahead, man. I, I, I was gonna tell you about the T. I, I, I was gonna tell you about 800, TJ. You know what I'm okay. saying? But talk to me about Twin, bro. Man, so I was just doing my research about that shit. People was hitting me up, and I had to do my digging. They say it's a video. I haven't found the video yet. But look, the Twins was in the middle of robbing a dude, man. They was in the middle of robbing somebody. And when Twin patted the nigga down, he ain't checked for the strap. He turned around or did whatever. Dude up to the shot him in the neck. The man, the dude who did it on Instagram bragging. Let me go read this shit verbatim. Yeah, I, go I, don't ahead, wanna, bro. I don't wanna misquote nobody. You nah, feel send me? that to me too so I can throw it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. I got you. I'm gonna send it to you. Um while I'm in the middle I mean, of doing this shit. Doing this shit. Mm. Yeah, most definitely. The man said, he said, if you out here trying to rob, make sure you check me, not check motherfuckers. He said, make sure you check me all the way. Ask dude, brother. His ass ain't make it far. And then the next one, I don't know why little twin ass lying. He ran, but I'm going to shut up and let baby bro have this internet. Um, but then he commented on some pictures, uh, pretty much saying, I told you. And it's go- it goes back to what you say about little Jeff. Like, even though the death of little twin was sad and unfortunate, could you say it was tragic if you're in the middle of robbing somebody? We got to stop thinking everybody a lick. Yeah, I can't say that's tragic, man. I got to say that's, um, you know, People time be coming, bro. Maybe, maybe it was his time. You know what I'm saying? Um, he, it sound like from what you said, bro, he was doing exactly what he wanted to do. Um, at that moment in time, he was outside on some street shit. Mm-hmm. And that's he he it wasn't no accident. Ain't nobody run up at his mama house. Nope. Um, he was living that street life, and that's what come with it. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I feel bad for the families, man. Condolences to the mothers, to the daughters, to the sisters, to the sons. Yep. But I mean, if you win that shit, bro, you win that shit. And that's what come with it, man. Um, exactly. Yeah, exactly. like not 10 minutes after, or maybe even before, or around that same exact time, within 10 minutes, it was also reported that <clears throat> 800 Lil TJ, man, um, passed away. After a gunfight on the on the E-way, on the Dan Ryan Expressway, 75th, uh, they was going south. Um, very similar to what you were saying about Lil Twin, man. Um, two days ago, the dude 800 TJ happened to rob a, a semi-friend for a gun. Yep. He was on the internet laughing about it, joking about it. And, and the dudes that he robbed was not playing. At all. They was not playing at all. Um, in the midst of that, you know, people know if, if people know about TJ, people know, you know, people say he had hats. He he had a couple bodies. Um, he troll his ops a lot. He go on live with his ops a lot. That's something that he do. He had dropped his location. This is part of his like internet character. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he dropped his location on the E-way. Um, he, he was on the E-way. He was on live and people could tell. Um, mm-hmm. now, there is no report. I know some people said that dude, like the dude who got his gun took something like that, but I, I heard it ain't had that nothing to do with that. Me too. I heard it had nothing to do with that. Dude. Okay, good. So yeah, I heard it was just niggas been looking for TJ. Yep. And he dropped that low. He was feeling extra confident. And yep. within minutes of him, of people knowing that he was on the E-way, motherfuckers caught up to him. You know what I'm saying? And heard. Yeah, man. So that that that's... That's another one of them situations where, you know, you just got men out here living their life on some street shit the way they want to. And when these types of things happen, yeah, we would love to be like, oh, man, it's tragic. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Another one gone. You see what I'm saying? 
Mm-hmm. We would love it, but I mean, at the end of the day, bro, this come to me, it just come with whatever you're doing, jail or dead. It's all part of the game. You could get rich. It's a lot of different parts of the game. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, also, man, want to talk about the dude Lil Schoon, man. Mm, yeah, we got to you know get it. That for sure. I want to talk about Lil Schoon, man. I mean, he, he was active. He was a member. He wasn't. I don't believe he was active at the moment when he mm-hmm. was murdered. But, you know, Lil Schoon's story go almost deeper than Twin and TJ's story. Man, bro, just even the whole TJ shit, I want to touch about that a little bit. The way he passed kind of remind me of Fulio. You know how a motherfucker yep. be trolling? They got this yep. internet image, kind of can't be touched. Like they can be touched, but they haven't took an L yet. Yeah, do all that internet trolling because he was just trolling Lil Scoon. Yeah, he was just trolling Lil Scoon death exactly. Trolling his death like a motherfucker gang. I believe in karma. You ever cheated on a bitch, uh, and then probably like a week later you caught her ass up. You like damn, just whatever it may be, gang. Karma. Is a motherfucker, bro. I believe in that shit so much because not too long ago, the motherfuckers wanted me to break this story a while ago, and I'm gonna talk about it now because he's gone. But allegedly, TJ allegedly um was trying to swap pipes with a dude named Hot. Look, Hot. It's up to y'all to figure out who he is. You know, I got an idea. But <coughs> in the middle of that, when Lil Hot was hopping the gate to leave, TJ blew him down. So he been slimy and snaked out. For a motherfucker, that's fucked up. Like you, he trusts somebody. I don't know how dude got around his pipe. But you so slimy, you forsaking friendships and all this shit just to get a pipe. Then end up losing your life, bro. For and- some internet shit, too, because it's not like these niggas don't got pipes, bro. But it's like, nigga want to be cool on the internet, man. He want to rob. Man, I robbed this nigga for the pipe. Like, it's mm-hmm. really some... It's the Fulio shit. It's exactly what you said, bro. Like, for real, for real, man. Yeah. Life came and bit his ass right back. I mean, it's ridiculous. And also, about to, before we get to school... I wanted to ask you about this, about this uh, Lil Twin shit, because something I was noticing, you know what I mean, about all these rappers, because the twins ain't made it big enough. But if you go down their page, they drip the fuck out. You could tell that they got it. They got more than what they had last year. You know what I'm saying? So whatever type of money situation they got, it'll make you think they winning, quote unquote. Right. And then you turn around and hear about them robbing motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? That remind me of Nook, the whole Nook situation. Just somebody who signed a deal for like what? Three M's or some shit like that, and got half of it. Mm-hmm. And then you turn around stealing cars. If these rappers still in the hood doing this shit, it's no longer just they in the hood doing what's available to them. This should let you know that that rapper money ain't really that like motherfuckers think. It ain't that like motherfuckers think if you got to turn around and go do some shit like that. Because in your opinion, gang, for them to be robbing somebody, what you think could make them go to that? They needed the bread, bro. It's just like you saying, man. Upholding these images and all this design, and once I take a picture in this outfit, I can't wear this outfit no more. And man, once I take a picture with this pipe, man, I'm trying to switch jeans, and you see what I'm saying? Like, man, Joe, all of this, all of this outward pressure to keep up some fake image, bro, that yeah. don't help your family, and it's really not helping you because you see where it got you. But you know, that's that's the youth, man. I can't I can't be upset at the youth for wanting to be fresh. Um, robbing niggas for shit. I can't really be too upset at them for that. But like I said, or like you said, when the karma come, like when the karma come for it, man, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But we know what it is, bro. That rap money ain't hidden like it used to, man. Niggas ain't signing <clears throat> multi deals and shit like that. You know what I mean? For sure. M- motherfuckers is getting little feature money or YouTube mm-hmm. money. You know how it go, bro. And yep. they not really making enough to move out the hood. So now they still stuck with all the same hood activities. It's the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, bro. Now, the reason I was saying all that, because it tied into the little school shit. Every, all these people, like, we all got karma. We done did some bad shit in our lives, bro. But we made it to a point where we stopped doing that shit. And the, my karma ain't came, came back for me yet. Not yet. You feel me? But a while ago it was. And when I see that shit with little school, Something that always stayed in the back of my head, and I didn't do a video on it. But you know, he was going to the school because remember when I first met you? Uh, we were doing that movie with Truth Teller, the little movie. Yep, the back door shit. Remember what happened downtown that day? You talking about that money shit? Let's go. was going to school with him, gang. Oh yeah, I hey, I saw that. that he the one who dropped a motherfucking load, bro. I saw that man. He dropped a load to his homies, like. If you live in that life, 
I ain't gonna promote it now because I'm not living that life. But if I was, I wouldn't be, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't, you know what I'm and saying? That's, and that's how they knew Brandon was downtown like that. Exactly. Exactly. Let's go used to go there because let's go only 18. Right. Let's so he was in high school at that time. Exactly. Exactly, bro. He dropped the low to them niggas, man. And then look what happened. Motherfucker. Somebody dropped, dropped the low on him. Karma, man. Karma is a motherfucker. It don't matter how long it takes you, that shit will get up with you, bro. That's why I try to be positive. And these youngest, man, let's go just I don't think these young niggas realize their potentials like Bloodhound, Lil Jeff. TJ wasn't trying to be a rapper. Twin them, they was raw, but they were still trying to figure it out. Like you feel right. Me? They were still trying to figure it out. But Jeff, Luscoom, did you know Luscoom was already signed to Columbia? Luscoom had some bars, bro. I was a he fan of it. his music, bro. The nigga had punchlines, bro. He, he was a real rapper. Yes, a real rapper, bro. Not just rapping fast. But, but him and Fast, though, even though they was beefing, they kind of remind me of each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Wasn't they beefing over that shit? And then niggas was beefing over the Scoom shit, too? Yeah, the man. same time, yeah, yeah. All that shit. All that shit, bro. But motherfucking, did you know Scoom was signed to Columbia? I didn't know he was signed to Columbia. I heard he had signed a deal. Mm -hmm. And and just from being a fan of Lil Jeff and just paying attention to the music in Chicago, mm -hmm. I felt personally that Scoom had the best bars. Yep. As a rapper. Three. Out of the whole city, all the young niggas, that the way he rapped could have went to the worldwide. You see what I'm saying? Yes, bro. Yes. Fatso got it too. Now I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it was, yeah I like that. But he got the deal though. He good. He good. Yeah, he got the yeah. He got the Dirk deal and shit. But the reason I was mentioning that deal though that Luskoon got was because he even signed the deal and didn't even think that was enough. You know what I mean? Like, what would it take for you to leave the streets? Motherfuckers say they rapping to get deals and make it out the hood. Why get a deal and stay in this shit? You right. know what well, I, mean? I think he said that didn't he? Like, because I think what what um the dude uh DJU the night before uh -huh. he interviewed Scoon and I believe. He told Schoon told you um he was trying to get out the city. <clears throat> he did. He I think it's deeper, bro. I think even when you sign a deal, man, let's say you sign a deal with Columbia and they give you twenty five thousand or something, or fifty thousand. Like they ain't give them, they ain't giving them a million. You see what I'm saying? They ain't give them a little fifty, a little 30, 40 piece or something, bro. You can't move with that. You can't. You're right, bro. The world is getting expensive as fuck, bro. It, bro, fuck. rent in the hood fifteen hundred, bro. Man, you, you see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm talking about the worst block, nigga. Go, go get you a decent little apartment on the worst block, bro. That bitch 1500, 1600. Exactly. Don't so it's be like, a two bedroom. Yeah, I don't think Scoom, I think Scoom was trying to get out, but I don't think he had it to go at that time. You know I mean? But I, I'm, I know he wanted to, though. You could tell, you could see he, he wanted to get up out of there. Even when you saw the footage, I don't know, did you see the footage of them on the porch? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he was um, like, like the wow, day he wow. died and shit. Yeah, you could tell he ain't look comfortable. Them his own, them was his blocks. He ain't even look comfortable. Nope. At 3 a.m., he knew what's going on. It, when you from the rack, bro, you just know. It's an eerie feeling when it's after 12 in the morning and you outside. It yeah, don't feel bro. right. Yeah. So bro. about that Nene Brooks situation, gang. I was gonna ask you, man. What's up with these females, man? Jumping in business, bro. Man, I would see the whole I, these females be wanting to be like niggas, man. And I'll be having a problem too. I'll be having that problem with my wife, man. She got a smart ass mouth. And I'll be having to realize sometimes, like, what trauma did these females go through? You know what I'm saying? To make them feel like they want to be this tough. Like, do you think you got something to prove? But as far as this Nini situation, do you think, because people, I try not to do the story because I don't want to condemn nobody to his facts, but people right. were saying it was fake. People were saying it was real. Do you got more of an insight on that shit? I mean, the little girl did it, bro, and then she dipped. Yep. Yeah, you know I mean, um, she did it and she dipped, and then she tried to kind of put it on the other girl. But you know, the other girl was like a lot more closer with him. School. So the other girl was like, "This nigga been on my crib hella times. Like, why would this be the day?" The other girl, man, you know, she made a good point. She like, "He been in my crib hella times, just me and him." Like, why would I wait for my family to be at home? Why would I wait for all of this? Like, what would make today the day other than that bitch was there? You know what I'm saying? Like, that was the that's the difference, to be honest. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, bro, you know how this shit go, man. In Chicago, man, the females want to be gangster, bro. You know, the, the, the setup with the female have always been like the number one setup play, bro. That's always been the number one setup play is like, I can't exactly. go over no female house. Like, bro, come on, man. This is Chicago, bro. I can't go over no female house right now. 
<laughs> exactly. I got to meet a bitch at a regular location. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not going over no female house, bro. I'm not finna get, ain't no female telling me where to pull up. You ain't lying. I just met you a couple weeks ago and now you want me to pull up over here because this where you at shit. No. You know what I mean? You so, feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me, man? I, you know? I ain't even gonna lie. Me and my wife was just on a little break. Man, I was, I was fucking this little... Uh, this is before we got married, though. I was fucking this... Uh, Congrats, man. Congrats. <laughs> hey, see how Chicago niggas do that? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We ain't shit, bro. <laughs> hey, no, man. We was on a little break. It was right before we got married, man. I understand. I was, I was tweaking, man, but I ain't even... Speaking of what you're saying about Chicago females being so fucked up, nigga, I went... I I, I, I wasn't even trying to holler at no young bitch for I found a 51-year-old Puerto Rican milk. Her okay. name is Juicy. <laughs> That's who I was fucking with. These young these young women want to be too much like gang buggers, bro. Yeah, bro. Know, they got a face about this shit, too. Yeah, bro. When you meet a young chick, man, you got to know who her brother is, what block she from, who her cousins is. Do you exactly. go to school? What kind of job you got? What you be doing on the weekend? I got to know so much shit about you so I can piece together who you really is. Exactly. What's your ex nigga name? I need to know that too. Man, I need to. Yeah, I need to know. Yo, you got baby daddy. I need to know everything because you just don't exactly, know. Exactly, gang. You see what I'm saying? You just don't know. And, and if you not really fucking a bitch, you can't fuck with her. Cause that means somebody else is fucking this bitch, and he got way more pull over her brain. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, bro, that's Chicago, man. Um, well, like when we was talking on the phone, bro. Like I, I don't know if a lot of people understand, man, but a lot of these dudes that's passing, man. Like I said, man, R.P. Schoon, R.P. T.J., R.P. Twin, man, R.P. Jeff. <coughs> Like RP everybody, bro. Like, you know, we don't want none of these young dudes passing, man. But at the same time, man, it's real life lessons in the street, bro. And if you understand these rules and you follow these rules and these guidelines, yep. you have a higher chance of survival. Yep. You see what I'm saying? So, like, in school, sure. since I in school, since I say like no extra females, the extra females got them fucked up. And the whole being outside at three in the morning. Why, nigga, if I'm gonna get my head twisted, well, I do that shit at one in the afternoon. I don't gotta be outside at no three o'clock in the morning doing exactly. shit. Exactly. You know what I mean? So <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but exactly. but nah, bro, man. I'm 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 man, G. I'm sick, bro. I'm still getting better, man. So I'm still bouncing back, man. I feel like I came back from the death bed, bro. If you ain't got your shirt yet, man. Please tap in with Larry Hoover Jr., man. Go get you a shirt, man. Support, support, man. Support, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, hey. A lot of people ain't got their shirt. They be talking shit, though. You feel me? How much he charged for the shirts? Um, Regular prices. It was regular, regular, just regular prices, man. Tap in with bro on the ground. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Free my father campaign, man. If you know, you know type shit. So. You know, the show, man. I, I hey, I heard you was blackballing the gas, man. So you know, I, I was just gonna say that, man. You know, since I'm blackballing the GDs, let me go ahead and support the GD founder, goddamn it. Let me go ahead and send some money his way for them since I'm blackballing this shit. No, nah, I already know, brother. I already know, man. <laughs> it's crazy shit. You know, hey, you know, I had to, I had to be GD crazy real quick when he got on the camera, man. You know what I'm saying? Niggas talking about he blackballing the gas, man. No, nah. hey, bro, that shit had like. 30 views, man. I don't think nobody's seen it, man. <laughs> That's why I don't know how it's being brought to my attention like that. People keep bringing it to my attention, man. I'm like, man, look, I ain't going to give it a big response, but I'm going to just say this right now, especially because you my boy, folk, and especially Absolutely. even since you got that shirt on. As a black man, I'm not trying to stop any other black man from getting their money. I don't give a fuck if it's somebody I don't like, somebody I hate, none of that shit. I'm not trying to stop. I don't have the power, for one, to blackball anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. not up there. And if I did, it wouldn't be somebody who looked like me trying to make it out of the same situation I'm in, man. Make it make nah, sense. No, absolutely. I, I believe you, bro. Shit, I ain't I ain't know nothing about it, man. You told me about it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I just want to address that. Yeah. Now, what I would say is this, though, bro. I ain't going to lie, man. Chicago, maybe, maybe, maybe motherfuckers is doing a little bit better than we think, bro. Because, right, man, Chicago was coming at my friends, man. And I'm not going to say the whole city. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I noticed it's a lot of lower level bloggers. Let's just be real. A lot yeah. of lower level bloggers. And I'm only saying that 
because of how they carry themselves. Exactly. I don't see them breaking stories. <clears throat> Sorry, bro. I was sick. You know, I was sick for like the last week. It's all good, my boy. Go ahead and get that co yeah. coronavirus about you. No, nah, for real. I don't see them breaking stories. I don't see them doing interviews. I don't see them pulling up to blocks. I don't see them really working with kids, working with the people. I don't I don't know what they're doing. But in 2024, man, man, motherfuckers is dissing. Dissing X-Man Rico, motherfuckers is dissing Drea, motherfuckers is dissing Truth Teller. Hey, all of y'all, y'all my real people, bro, that For I sure. know in real life, that I ain't no internet. Most definitely. Appreciate it. I don't you, like that shit, bro. Straight up. Y'all got a problem with y'all got a problem with X-Man Rico, Drea, or Truth Teller. You got a problem with Rex, bro. You got a problem with Street Certified News. That's all I can say. They, and them the only bloggers I really fuck with. For sure. Hey, the bro, same people crazy. you name, the only people I fuck with. It's, this, cr it's, it's crazy, crazy shit. man. Hey, do not to get too much off topic, bro. But since you a blogger like me, have you noticed this shit a little weird? The blogging, this, 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 like the blogging is becoming its own little industry of people who try to blackball each other. People want to talk about blackball me, black bloggers, blackballing rappers. It seems like bloggers try to blackball each other. When one blogger doing well, they would try to have any other competitions get their channel taken down or just start a whole smear campaign. And instead of just Coming together and working together like we are. Let these rappers be. They got street man. shit going on. We don't. Why? And that's what we was here to talk about, man. It's a lot of beef going on in Chicago right now. Too it's much. a lot of death. It's a lot of hate. It's a lot of envy, jealousy going on in Chicago right now. Now I know what you're talking about. Uh, what's dude's name? I don't even know. He a lame ass nigga, man, from over east. If I see him, I'ma smack him for real. Wait, wait, wait. You talking about Chris Barnes? N not him, but he him too. But it's another. What's the other dude's name? From over east, uh, Death of the Cloud Chase. I, I think the nigga from St. Louis or something. He said he was from over east. You talking about Death of the Cloud Chase? No, no, no. Whatever his name is, the nigga tried to get my channel took down. Nigga made a whole video talking about I got 24 hours to remove certain videos and all type of shit, bro. Real talk, bro. You put a copyright strike on my shit. I had to appeal it, get the shit took down, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the video's still up, but the nigga tried to, it's a nigga who tried to get my page took down, bro. Is it like Unc Drill time? Uncle Drill, some shit man, like that. Man, what's that nigga? Byron Blake. That lame ass oh. nigga. Bro. That lame ass nigga, bro. If I see that nigga, I'm gonna open hand smack him. G like my son, bro. Get the fuck up nah, out of here. He's from Chicago, man. He's from St. Louis. That's what I'm saying, man. man you didn't see the video man. with Hitman and Holland? Shit, you didn't see when Hitman and Holland jumped him? I didn't, bro. I don't know nothing about the nigga, bro. That's his claim to fame. He was a, a battle rapper who got out of jail for a shooting. End up getting jumped by Hitman Holler, but you know it's crazy. I didn't know he was coming like that, bro. I was I, I, I was working with him. He was the one giving me when all that Rondo and this shit was going on. He was locked up with him. And he just flooded me with the paperwork. The same shit with 1090 Jake. He threw it to me first. I didn't know he was getting down like that. Because you know, DJ, you try to do that to me too. Bro, the nigga tried to get my channel took that. First off, the nigga made a fake ass extortion video talking about you got 24 hours to send me some money. And I, I was like, where you at? Like shit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like shit. Where you at there, bro? Shit, nigga. I got 24 hours for what, nigga? You know what I'm saying? For sure. Long story short, man. I let that nigga whatever, man. I dead that nigga, man. And then I get a strike on my channel and, and YouTube. I go through all the YouTube shit. Um, long story short, all that shit gone. Now the video still up. But yeah, bro. It's it's like you said, man. It's for some reason, bro, it's like we don't understand that, man. When God make a lane for you, bro, it's for you. Yeah. It ain't, it, it ain't, you ain't taking nothing from me, bro. You see what I'm saying? I've been watching your content for years, bro. Nothing that I ever thought of doing was like, oh man, if only X-Man Rico wasn't here, mm -hmm. I'd be good. Like that don't exist. It's about your exactly. path. You know what I mean? Exactly, bro. For sure. Lanes, man. Straight lanes. But any nigga that try to take my money, though, I gotta smack him, though. That, man, that's, that's sure. principle. Man, Joe, it's all right, though. Mama Duck did me like that. J Hood, DJ U, God damn it. The list goes on. All these bro, they on your heels, bro. You said who? They on your heels, man. They is. It's all good, though. It's all love, man. I don't hate none of the people. Yeah.